How many types of constants are there in a transmission line? We've already studied about the transmission of electric power. And it has been discussed that it's done by three-phase, three-wire system of overhead lines. Now in these power lines, there are a number of constants and parameters. And it's important to study them as they affect the performance of transmission lines. The transmission line has three types of constants, variables, namely inductance, capacitance and resistance, which are spread throughout the transmission line. Now we discuss these constants or parameters in detail. It's important to study them as they decide about the voltage regulation and efficiency of the line. Thus, they have a considerable role in technical success of the transmission lines. All these parameters are uniformly distributed along the line of transmission. Here is the brief discussion on the three constants of transmission lines. At first constant variable, we discuss resistance. It's opposition of the line conductor to current flow. And its distribution is uniform along the whole line. It is important to mention that if the distribution resistance is considered as lumped, then the performance of the line can be analyzed easily. Now, next constant variable is inductance. The inductance is possessed by the conductor mainly due to linkage flux. This changing flux is set up in the conductor when an AC current flows through it. Even this inductance is taken as lumped and distributed uniformly. Finally, we discuss about capacitance. And as we already know that, here in the transmission line, the two conductors which are separated by insulating materials are considered as capacitors. And the accurate definition of these capacitance is the charge per unit potential difference. Again, it is uniformly distributed. Thus, we can summarize as 